Hey YouTube, I'm back. It's been a minute, a couple months probably since I've done a video, and I apologize for that. Been super busy, the holidays happened. Still been fish keeping, just haven't had time to shoot videos, to be honest with you. And it, uh, you know, when life calls, uh, things like that get put on the back burner. But I've had a little time recently, so I thought I'd uh, try to get back into the video shooting. Hopefully I can remain more consistent. Uh, we'll see um, as things happen um, day by day, week by week. We'll uh, we'll check into it. Um, so I thought I would do a fish room tour today of the basement fish room. There's been a lot of changes, um, and I'm going to go through them with you, um, and uh, some new things to come also. Um, but uh, I, as always, I just want to say you know thank you first of all for those of you that subscribe and watch these videos. Um, thanks for Lucas. Thanks to Lucas Bretz for coming out and doing a video here uh, last weekend. He was in town to speak at the Minnesota Aquarium Society, which I'm a board member there. And um, it was a real good turnout. Um, he came over here and did a real cool video. So go check out LRB Aquatics YouTube channel and, and you can see the video he shot. It's actually a lot of changes just in one week from that video to um, the one you're going to see here today. And as always, um, I'm still running Aquatic Support Systems. Uh, that is my website, online retail business, where I sell fish food and shrimp food and other related aquarium products. Make sure you go on there and check it out. Um, it's aquaticsupportsystems.com. You can get Southern Delight fish food if you're into these big cichlids. If you're into my, sh the, you know, shrimp and stuff like that, I sell tons of different uh, brand lines um, for shrimp food and shrimp products. So just uh, do me a favor, go check it out. Uh, I'd appreciate your business. And I thank you to all of you that already uh, do purchase things from me. It really helps out, helps support the fish room and that type of thing. Finally, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you hit that like button and please leave a comment. Those types of things really help um, with YouTube. Um, helps my channel, helps the hobby in general though, because as we can continue to grow some of these YouTube channels out there, um, it, it just helps with the hobby. So also finally leave a comment below, tell me what your favorite fish is in the fish room, or if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, I really appreciate all the comments and I do my best to answer them all. So let's get started with the tour. All right, so um, let's just get started over here. This is the 180 gallon dual stack tank. Used to be a Redis latest up here, Redis latest pair. Still got them, show them to you in a minute. But I brought Cheeto and his lady down here because I'm gonna do something different in the tank up in my office where Cheeto used to be. They're loving life so far, only been here for a couple of days. And um, as usual, showing spawning behavior, although, um, I'm not crossing my fingers or getting my hopes up on that, but they're doing real good down here. Um, and uh, it's kind of cool to have them down here. Also in a bigger tank, 180 gallon versus 125 gallon. Uh, I moved the Redis latest pair down below here. Um, just wanted Cheeto up on the top tank and I thought maybe bringing the Redis latest pair down here. There's the female would just uh, give them a change of scenery and maybe cause them to spawn. Um, so far, the female's pretty timid and has been hiding out. I've got a tube for her like I had in the other tank. Uh, she doesn't seem to really go into it like she did in the other tank, but we'll just see what happens. Um, you know, they're still getting used to their surroundings and are a little bit timid, but uh, you know, that's kind of how it goes. I moved Cheeto's brother and his female over into this tank. This is another stack where I've got a 180 and a 125 on top. Um, so, um, as you can tell, there's some missing fish. In this tank used to be a Feste pair. Um, came down one day after not being around for a couple of days and noticed what the heck, the female's gone. Well, she had jumped out a small opening in the back of the tank and was back behind the tank uh, dead and dried up so that's unfortunate so what I did then is uh, I moved the male over to the tank that these guys were in 
and then eventually I moved him on, um, brought him to our local fish auction. And then the real big thing that a lot of you are probably going, what the heck, when I showed this tank is this used to be the Hadiensis tank. This one is the one that really kind of stings the most. The male, going on, it's probably close to a month ago now, started developing hole in the head. Um, I treated him for five to six days doing the oral, um, quarantined him and doing oral uh, medication with the pipette. The hole in the head was looking like it was clearing up and then all of a sudden one day I came down in the morning and um, his eyes were just bulging out. Um, talked to Conway about it, Talk, you know, he was guiding me through the treatment and everything. Um, he said sometimes if it gets too bad, uh, things can start to get swollen in the head and, and the eyes will pop out, continue the treatment. Uh, next, so I did one more treatment, next day I came down and, and unfortunately he was dead. So not needing the female anymore, um, I found a new home for her. Um, and I've got Hadiensis Fry, which I'll show you in a little bit. And I'm just going to grow out uh, what I've got and, for myself and at some point maybe get another pair and kind of go from there. So that's what's going on with that situation. That one really sucks. Um, the male Hadiensis, I would say, probably wasn't my favorite fish per se, but I would think, I think is probably the best specimen I had in the entire fish room. You know, these Midas are, are more favorites of mine, although I just think that male Hadiensis, in my opinion, was the best one that I've seen in a long time out there. And a lot of my viewers and friends and stuff said the same thing. Um, that's not me bragging, that's just what I think. And I really like that fish and I just thought he was a special, thi special fish. So too bad to see him go, but it happens in the hobby. Uh, the wild caught umbi pairs, Magnus and Beast, are doing, I guess, best they can. They, they're just getting old and they're showing age, and I don't know how much longer they'll be around. You just never know. Um, they're tattered and torn, and they're getting old. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's about all I can say about that. But they're still housed in this 300-gallon aquarium over in the corner, and, uh, you know, doing the best they can. Uh, the other Umbi pair, Matrix and Optimus. Here's Optimus, the male F1 that came from Magnus and Beast. It's doing stellar. Coloration's looking really good. They've been showing a lot of spawning behavior lately. Um, she's actually showing a little bit more blue than she has been, but she's been really blonde and goldish colored lately, and they've been doing a lot of head shaking and lip locking, and she's been spending a lot of time in that... Uh, flower pot over there too so I think things are about to go down there you can see some behavior right there so um, up here are the Midas grow outs uh, that I'm just kind of growing out to see what happens um, I just kind of want to have some backup um, because both of my Midas pairs the males are getting getting old um, so you never know what's gonna happen but so far they're doing good. They're growing along nicely, feeding them real well and that type of thing. I'm gonna feed them right now just to show you the kind of the frenzy that you get. What I've got these guys on at this time is the Southern Delight Power Feed. Um, if you don't know or you're new to my channel, Southern Delight is by far my favorite fish food. I recommend it totally to anyone who keeps cichlids or any type of fish they've got they've got something for every type of fish keeping in their line of 11 different uh, formulas so but this is what's called the power feed so I'm gonna go ahead right now and feed them they're ready for it one cool thing about Southern Delight too that no other fish food really has is they've got these cool shaker bottles so you don't have to get your hands all stinky especially if like you're feeding before work in the morning that type of thing American company too by the way so you know you're getting a quality product. They just go nuts for this stuff. Got a few loaches in here too.
one tank I forgot to show over here down below is the Trimac tank. So you can see I got it divided right now. The male is the one that I used to keep over in the 75 gallon. I moved, I traded spots. The uh, This one is just a little bit better specimen, I believe. And um, the other one was just picking on this female so hard that she was getting pretty damaged. and. I thought I'd, a change might do them good. So I've had them divided here for a little over a week. And I'm gonna keep them divided for a while. She's pretty much healed up now, but um, I just wanna introduce them to each other slowly and see what happens. This guy's a beast. So then the other one is up here now. And actually, after I put him up here, you can see the red started coming out a lot more. Than, than it was in that other tank. So I'm not sure, I'm not giving up on this guy yet. He's actually a little bit bigger and um, I'm starting to really like the way he looks. So we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. Pretty nice though. Um, the Hadiensis grow outs or fry, whatever you want to say are right here. They are gonna go down in the 75 gallon below. Right now I'm temporarily storing slash quarantining something that I'm not going to tell you about yet that's a surprise to come later basically what's going on up in my office I got a convict pair in here that I just picked up for a couple of bucks at our local fish club auction uh, back in January just because I had a tank they're small fish thought it'd be cool to get them breeding and uh, just see what happens <coughs> excuse me and then in this tank, they're not coming out right now, but I got a trio um, of jewels, jewel cichlids, the red ones. Maybe if I throw a little food in, they'll come out. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'll get back to them if, if they do, but <coughs> um, shrimp, we'll do a separate shrimp video. Oh, one, one new thing, as far as aquatic support systems go, stock's running a little low right now, but I got a new shipment coming in. I started selling these uh, Green green Pleco brand uh, plushies. This is the goldfish. They have a suction cup. They started with just selling Plecos, but they've advanced into some other stuff too. But they're, they're really cool. Um, I don't think I showed these before in any videos, but they stick to your fish tank or any window or mirror or surface that a suction cup would stick to. I don't know, there's probably 20 different things. A um, bunch of different Plecos, uh, Bettas, uh, these crystal shrimp, uh, clown loaches. So those are up on the website if you're interested. Um, I'll be selling these right now. They're a real popular item. Um, I had a ton and they've pretty much uh, dwindled down to where I don't have too many left, but like I say, I got a new shipment coming in here real soon. Um, we'll go over and check out uh, the flower horn. This is the Comfa 9.9. .9. He's doing real well, as always. Just love that pattern on his nuchal hump. He's a cool fish, really fun to have as a wet pet. Um, up here is the other flower horn. This is a red magma. Um, I've had this guy for several years and uh, you've probably heard in videos if you watch a lot. Every so often I'm like, eh, I'm kind of ready to get rid of him and I'm back in that uh, mode again with this guy. Maybe sell him, move him on, something like that. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. And then I moved the Moda pair over to the 120 where the Midas pair used to be. They're doing good. Um, they're gonna spawn again real soon. They spawned once, but the eggs didn't make it. He's pretty torn up though. She's hard on him, which is a good sign. You know, she's standing up to him. But um, they show constant pre-spawning behavior and that type of thing. So I just hope that she doesn't continue to nip at him and we can heal him back up so that he's uh, looking good again. And then finally, I'm gonna grab some fish food first. Um, grab this Southern Delight small cichlid. So you remember I had some Red Devil Fry before over in one of those grow out tanks. Well, I moved them to the 75 
and I actually picked up a few more um, from James, same guy, James Randall, that I got the other ones from. A little bit bigger, they were at the auction and they were selling for dirt cheap, so I just thought I'd add them to the collection here. But um, looking to grow out these Red Devils and see what happens. But I just put in some Southern Delight small cichlid and you're about to see them go absolutely ape shit over them. This is it, Southern Delight small cichlid. Real good fish food for smaller grow outs with your cichlids or um, just dwarf cichlids in general. African cichlids, that type of thing. Going nuts. Anyway, that's about it for the tour. I'm not going to show you the office tanks because uh, there's nothing to see in Cheeto's old tank, and the planted tank is doing eh, okay. So that's what we got going on up there. So again, I appreciate you guys that uh, subscribe to this channel and watch my videos. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite fish was in this video. Let me know if you have any questions about any of my fish, what I'm doing, any products that I sell on AquaticSupportSystems.com, what, what, you know, maybe I, I could recommend for what you keep, that type of thing. Um, and uh, like if you're new to this channel too, just make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. I do, I try to do regular fish room update videos. I also do shrimp. I have shrimp tanks, about 18 of them, and I do separate videos on my shrimp tanks. So stay tuned for that if you're into that type of thing. And I've got two reef tanks upstairs that I do separate uh, update videos on those too. So stay tuned for that. Uh, until next time guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, remember aquaticsupportsystems.com is my website. Brian's Fish Tanks is the name of this YouTube channel, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Take care.